Tonight, COVID-19 numbers across the state continue to soar as Michigan identifies thousands of new cases of the new variant and more than 1,000 new outbreaks. Including new outbreaks in K-12 schools, manufacturing and construction, long-term care, child care, retail, restaurants and bars. Right here in mid-Michigan counties, cases are up 68% from last week. State officials are asking all Michiganders who test positive for COVID-19 to consider antibody therapy treatments to help drive down hospitalizations. The treatments offered by Regeneron and Eli Lilly could keep you out of the hospital and save your life. Data from early trials suggest a 70% reduction in hospitalizations or death in high-risk patients treated with these monoclonal antibodies. <laughs> Michigan's hospitals are once again overwhelmed by the virus. Some hospitals have experienced a six-fold increase in coronavirus patients admitted. This week, we surpassed the COVID-19 case and hospitalization rates that we saw in the fall. Director of the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, Elizabeth Hertel, is taking on criticism for a trip to Alabama last week as the COVID-19 situation escalated here in Michigan. I'm not going to get distracted by partisan hit jobs on my my team. There have never been travel restrictions in Michigan. There just haven't been. What we have done is to ask people to be smart. Despite the surge in cases, the governor said she will not be enforcing any additional restrictions. She's calling on Michiganders to continue to follow the statewide mask mandate and capacity restrictions on indoor gatherings. So it's not a question about whether or not the policy is the right policy. It's really more of a testament to the fact that we have combining issues. Those issues, the more transmissible variant, lack of compliance, and a large number of Michiganders who have never been exposed to the virus. State officials say speeding up vaccines and staying cautious is the best way to drive down case numbers. 